Hello, this is Lauren Sember. I'm a seventh grade social studies teacher and I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you some of the things that I really love um, about Sutori, some of the different ways that I've used it in and out of my classroom. Uh, one of the first ways that I will use Sutori often is to create additional um, like reading companions for readings that students do in class. Things that pull in additional information, things that give me an opportunity to kind of break out vocabulary words, um, add images, add maps to kind of enrich what they've already read. Um, it will also give me a place where I can share additional readings and ask students to do kind of some additional out of the box thinking connected to a certain topic. Um, so this topic was Canadian history. Um, my reading companion focused on the First Nations because I felt that the reading we have doesn't really touch deeply enough on the First Nations and what their impact on current Canada is. Um, so this kind of gave me a way to help students take a step further into that First Nation culture. Um, Sutori gives you the option to use forum questions, which are great. Uh, for each additional article that I added, I gave students a choice to read either Article 1 or Article 2, and then asked them to think about the forum question. I also added some video resources and a Did You Know box to kind of help capture student attention. What I love about this assignment is that after students do the reading and they go through my reading companion, they then are charged with creating their own reading companion that focuses on one of the other groups that helped to settle Canada and turn it into the Canada that it is today. So they chose the French, the British, um, uh, Norse or Viking, and then they also had the choice between more modern immigration into Canada and focusing on Asian immigration. So students then were able to do their own research, pull out their own vocabulary words. They needed to add their own map. Um, they needed to choose one outside article, either from News ELA or from another news source. They needed to ask a forum question, and then they had a choice between adding a movie or a did you know. So this whole assignment act acted as not only a way to deliver additional information and go more in depth, but this was actually a model to show students what their own reading companion was going to look like. Another way that I love to use Sutori is to create group work assignments on Sutori. So I will split up a Sutori into multiple sections. This one happens to be on four different assassination attempts made against Adolf Hitler. Um, which was a topic that students were extremely engaged in because across seventh grade, you talk a lot about um, history of Europe. Um, at the time, they were reading the diary of Anne Frank in language arts. So this was a topic that they were really ready to grab onto. Each group read through one story. The stories I compiled myself and I added um, images, again, vocabulary words um, to add context forum questions, and a link to the original news stories that I could find. This way, students focused on their one story, and then I mixed up groups. So somebody who'd spoken about Maurice Bavode would go and talk with somebody who was a part of, who had read about Operation Valkyrie, and then they could discuss who these people were in history and why what they did was important. Was it right? Was it wrong? Um, it kind of helps students to develop their own um, research skills, but then also to make their own opinions and then support them through discussion. I also will use Sutori to create a lot of templates. Uh, so this summer I got to teach um, American history in summer school and for our first writing assignment I really wanted to be able to help students break down claim evidence and reasoning to create their own argument. Um, so we took our first essential question, which was how well had Americans lived up to the ideals presented in um, some of its founding documents. I created kind of the graphic organizer. And this was great because one of the things that I found students were so um, challenged by was 
finding good resources and finding good evidence to support and connect to their claim. The idea of a works cited page had kind of shaken them all. So what's so great about being able to use Sutori for this is that they were able to embed the websites they used. They were able to add links in their text boxes. They were able to use images to help them explain their argument. Um, and for a first writing assignment, this really gave them a great structure to break down their claim their evidence and their reasoning. It also helped us step through creating your own claim, connecting your evidence, and then explaining it in a strong, well-stated way. One of the other ways that I use Sutori, and this is kind of using it outside of the classroom, is I create newsletters and then send home newsletters to parents on Sutori, which is great because I use Sutori so often in the classroom that parents are seeing some of the um, tech resources that I'm using, but it also gives me a great way to share some of the different things that we do in class. So sharing things like classroom assignments, classroom uh, videos that we watch, uh, classroom um, student work spotlights where students work is able to be sent home without having you know, to send it all in a bunch of different emails is really great. It also gives me a way to include different resources, uh, make announcements. You can also embed Google Docs. So the follow up to this newsletter was that I embedded the field trip Google Doc permission slip right in there. Um, it's great because it's a great way to reach out to parents it's a great way to connect. It's a great way to show what you're doing in class and be able to say, you know, make sure you talk to your kids about um, what's coming up. Tell them, you know, what you know about Canada in preparation for their next classroom assignment. Maybe share your opinions about, you know, our energy future. Start discussing these things at home because this is what we're going to be talking about in class. Um, so, yeah. I use Tutori in a ton of different ways. It was really hard for me to limit myself to just a couple of minutes here for you. I hope that you um, explore and experiment with Tutori in your own ways and that you enjoy the upcoming school year. Thanks.